Tonight, we are taking a look at the history of one of the most haunted places in Canada, Fairmont Banff Springs. The Banff Springs Hotel, as it's commonly known, first opened in 1888 in Alberta, built by the Canadian Pacific Railway. The city of Banff and the hotel were named after the first European settler in this region of Canada, William Davidson, who was born in Banff, Scotland. Since its opening, the hotel has welcomed guests from the British royalty to Marilyn Monroe to Winston Churchill. It's a four-star hotel, now managed by Fairmont, nestled in a beautiful valley beside Banff National Park. It looks more like a giant castle than a hotel. It's easy to see why royalty, celebrities, and commoners alike choose to stay in such a beautiful place. There are many supposed hauntings circling around about the springs. One centers around the missing hotel room 873. Hotel room 873 was said to have been drywalled over. And while every one of the hotel's floors has a room ending in 73, this floor does not. According to local legend, and while the details are murky, a family of three, mother, father, and daughter, were murdered in this room. Some stories claim the father went mad and is the perpetrator, while others provide different spins on the story. And while it's not confirmed, many speculate that Stephen King's book, which later turned into a movie, The Shining, is based on his own family stay here and the legends that haunted the springs. Guests have reported to hear violent screams in the dead of night and seen bloody handprints on the mirror. Till this day, room 873 is still inaccessible from the hallway. Another persistent haunting story that floats around the springs is that of the so-called Doom Bride or Ghost Bride. There are a variety of stories regarding the Doom Bride, but the most commonly heard tale is that in the 1930s. A new bride fell down the curved staircase at the springs to her death before her wedding festivities were to begin. Some say she also caught fire due to a candle or open torch, while others say she simply died from the fall. Regardless, staff and guests alike have reported seeing her dancing in the Cascade Ballroom or walking up and down the staircases. The ghost bride even has her own collector's coin and stamp from the Royal Canadian Mint. But there's a less tragic spirit too, Sam the Bellman, who worked at the hotel until 1975 and claimed he'd come back to haunt the hotel. His spirit supposedly pulls shifts helping people with their bags before disappearing. There have been so many reports of ghost stories from the Bram Springs Hotel that the nearby paper, the Calgary Herald, posted several articles in the newspaper including the Doom Bride and Sam the Bellman. Is the springs really haunted? Tales from guests and staff alike seem to confirm that it may be. But we'll leave it up to you to brave a stay at the beautiful hotel and decide for yourself. And remember, don't go into the dark.